Jack and Gennady approached Gus and me to do the book. Uh, this is something that was very important to Jack. He wanted to tell this story. Jack, extremely patriotic, Semper Fi, mar tough Marine, is more gruff. Uh, obviously, as it says in the book, a cowboy, he, he didn't uh, uh, go by the rules, but he got the job done. Gennady is handsome, charming, the opposite of what you see of the Russian in the movie, the cold, imperious, scary guy, and also very much a cowboy who didn't respect the rules of the system in many ways, and it got him into trouble. It's amazing that these two guys became friends. It's the strangest love story of the Cold War because you would think on paper these guys should have hated each other, but they ended up becoming uh, best of enemies. There's a catch-22 about the spying life. On one hand, you're told to go out and spy and get close to the enemy, or and if you fail, you're a failure. But then they say, if you get close to the enemy, well, what are you doing hanging around the enemy? You can't win. Jack and Gennady really didn't necessarily know why they liked each other so much. They didn't have friends like that within their own operation, and, and, and they sort of uh, reinforced each other that it's okay to be crazy like I am or be roguish. And uh, that, yeah, that definitely bonded them. We would talk to them about, well, what's the story? Right. Well, we're just great friends. And it's like, okay, we get it. There's right. a CIA guy and a KGB guy who should never be friends who are friends. And we weren't sure for a while. We knew they were great, fun characters and everything. And, and then I think it was uh, probably one of our interviewees, one of our friends uh, said to us, uh, you know about Jack and Hanson? And then the light bulb goes off. Oh my goodness, now we got an ending. Now we got a real drama. Even though there was a definite concerted effort to find the second mole after Ames, it is not like there was a master pulling all of the strings. There were a series of dumb coincidences and, and accidents and carelessness that ended up identifying Robert Hansen because the Russians didn't even know who he was. Uh, this book details in great granular detail how that happened. There are plenty of surprises in, in the story, uh, not the least of which is the appearance of Robert De Niro. You wouldn't expect Robert De Niro to be a character in an espionage book. They had become friends uh, when they were consultants on the movie The Good Shepherd. When Gennady was imprisoned, Robert De Niro helped locate him in the prison system and he sent him a Christmas card with a photo of the two of them. That would get around in the prison system to say take care of my friend Gennady and coming from Robert De Niro who's revered in Russia that was a big deal. I think that given everything that's going on now with the Russia investigation into the 2016 election there's a lot to be learned. While this may not be a book about the Mueller investigation, it is a book about how the Americans and the Russians spy on each other. <laughs>